Hi, everyone, and welcome to Studio Jake. I, of course, am your host, Jacob Airy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe wherever you're watching. I'm all over the place these days, which is a good thing because I have something I want to talk to you about this morning. So, over this past weekend, the SJWs were after Chris Pratt again. They will not let up on the Guardians of the Galaxy actor. And I really don't understand this. They just have their ire up about him constantly. So what was happening this time, and it was trending all over the world, was that they took some photoshopped tweets and put in some very bigoted statements and claims. They were obviously fake. I mean, if you looked at them, you could tell, oh, this doesn't make any sense. This is totally not even how he talks. It's not his verbiage. It's not his attitude. Nothing. Now, I'm not saying that Chris Pratt maybe hasn't said some regrettable things in the past, but it was obvious that these particular tweets, that they were faked. Everyone knows this. So... It didn't take long for the SJWs to take these fed, uh, fake tweets and spread them all over social media. They, of course, began to bully him, started comparing him to Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth and all this other ridiculous nonsense. And I just didn't understand it. Why do they have their ire up about him? Now, Chris Pratt came out immediately and said that these were fake, they're not real, I don't know where they came from, all that good stuff. And he shouldn't apologize to these bullies, especially for something he actually did not do. So, to his credit to me, he did the right thing. You should never apologize to the SJW mob, the social media weirdos, the social justice whiners. You should never, ever apologize to them, especially if you didn't do what they're accusing you of doing. So, good for Chris Pratt for not bowing down. Now, why do they have their ire up about him? Part of me thinks that it is because he refused to endorse either side during 2020. He said he didn't like either political candidate. He didn't like Donald Trump or Joe Biden, which is perfectly normal to me, I think. He said he didn't like any of them. Now, in 2012, he did donate to Barack Obama's campaign, so that leads me to believe he might be a Democrat. But who cares? A lot of Hollywood celebrities... Some I like, some I don't. They're Democrats. Some I know, some I like, some I don't like are Republicans. It doesn't really make a difference here as long as they keep, in my opinion, keep producing high-end content and don't do, get into anything that's illegal. That's my opinion of it, and I think that should be pretty much everyone's opinion of it. When it comes to celebrities, their opinion shouldn't matter on anything. Now, obviously, I don't care if an actor says something, they have freedom of speech, but I shouldn't have to care what they think. And the sh same should be for Chris Pratt. He should be able to freely express whatever he wants to, but the social justice whiners, they just don't care. They will bully anyone, they will frame anyone. This is what they do. We've seen this in other fandoms as well, where they just get their ire up about one particular person and they just want to come after them. And they target Chris Pratt. And I think the reason is, because you might be wondering, is because he's an outspoken Christian. He talks about his faith. He even defended it against other actors. Uh, um, certainly, Ellen turned Elliot Page. Um, that person called out Chris Pratt for being a Christian, and he rightly defended his faith and his church regarding it. Now, I don't know much about the church where he attends. I don't know a whole lot about it, so I can't really speak to the doctrine that they preach, but you don't have to go to a church and agree with everything that they teach. I went to a church for many years. It's actually the same church I went to seminary at, and they taught a version of end times theology. So for those of you unfamiliar, end times would be kind of like what Left Behind was. You know, when is Jesus coming back? How is he going to come back? How are, are we going to respond when he comes back? The You know, all that good stuff. Whenever uh, they taught it, I didn't agree with it. And you know what? One of my, the papers I wrote while I was there was why I didn't agree with it. And I got an A for it. I guess because even though I was a dissenter, in their opinion of end times theology, they still respected that I had done my research 
and that I found holes in it. Now, to my knowledge, I don't attend that church anymore. They still teach that style of end times theology, but so what? It just goes to show you it's not a cult mindset, and these NPC social justice weirdos, they have this cult-like mindset where if you don't agree with what they're saying, they are going to swarm you like piranhas and they are going to devour you. And good for people like Chris Pratt and Gina Carano and even Denzel Washington for standing up to these arrogant sissies who are happy to be keyboard warriors, but when it comes down to it, they have to lie, cheat, and steal to get anywhere with what they are talking about. So good for him for not caving to the SJW mob. So that's all I wanted to say. I know it's a shorter video today, but it's Friday. I'm ready to go into the weekend. I'm ready to have a good time and relax. So I'm going to call it quits there. I just wanted to bring this up. And Chris Pratt, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but good for you for not caving to the SJW mob. Good for you. That's all the time I have for today. I know I normally go through the litany of my social media, but I'm going to start putting them in the video's description so you can come and find me at all those places. I'm on Facebook, MeWe. I'm on uh, Gab and Instagram and Twitter. So go find me there. Like I said, the links are in the description. The My usernames are in the description, so go check it out. Be sure to head over to my website, studiojakemedia.com, for more film and Hollywood and media commentary. I talk about television, film, anime, books, music, all kinds of stuff. So head over there. Subscribe there through your email or through my platform, however you want to. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.